going to the top floor where they're installing the kitchen. Uh, they're just trying to install the lights. I guess it was kind of obvious <coughs> to ask me to make the kitchen. And I've been working with this Enzo Mari uh, kind of uh, auto progetto, which is like a little kind of recipe for f making furniture. This little booklet, you know. It's like he designed all these furnitures based on scrap wood. So if you find scrap wood, you can kind of hammer it together or drill it together like like you know to make a furniture and it has different designs so <coughs> I've been working to use this book to make things and one of the things I did with it was to like make because of course it was about like certain kind of uh, you know recycling or poverty or whatever so I, I kind of took it to the opposite, which is to like make it out of like stainless steel, you know, which is like a completely opposite idea of the material. And um, but in this kitchen, which they you know wanted to have, I decided to also make actually to make the bench and the table out of wood, just to like use normal wood to do it. But I guess they'll have it installed by tonight, so. But what's nice about it is that there's a kind of, uh, um, you know, like different recipes of making. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like freeware, you know. I mean, he, he made it so that anyone can use it. And, of course, you don't have to make it precisely the way he drew it, you know. I mean, it's, about, it's more about structure and it's more about stability. It's more about usefulness, you know? You know and I, I like that idea a lot. And here is an old installation. From a barbecue we did when I did a show, I guess the last time I did a show here. Exactly, you know. I think that's kind of nice because you know, it's it's installed, right? And you, you, you know, when I look at it, it doesn't look. I mean, it looks like it's not installed, but it is installed. So it's quite nice. They've managed to disperse everything so well that even I'm convinced it wasn't installed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, oh. And then at first I saw it from there, I was like, oh, oh, what are they, you know, they haven't finished installing there. And then I came in and then I suddenly realized it's actually my work, which is supposed to look like it's not installed, you know. Yeah. So it was basically a roast leg of lambs, you know, like six to eight leg of lambs that we roasted for uh, after an, uh, you know during an, uh, you know opening of the exhibition and from all the lambs that we ate we collected all the bones and i had them kind of chromed it <clears throat> but it's it's <laughs> it's like a real remnant here i guess at some point we have to like re cook the re re grill re grill the I'm in the center, so it's almost like, so it's almost like I'm, I'm like the plant here, this thing, you know, it's barely moving. I'm trying to take my time. I was kind of surprised to see some work over there. I thought they were, I, at first I looked down the hall and I saw some models there and I thought, 
oh, they must be cleaning some stuff. And then I walk in and I was like, oh, it's my work. It's actually my installation. I am relaxed. I know, he's bringing me tea, so. I'm sitting in Jorge's, Jorge Pardo's installation at Neugerim Schneider, uh, which happens to be a nice little living dining room with like beautiful lamps and some, some ant paintings. Uh, yeah, I just uh, flew in from New York uh, via, well, I went from Venice. I just flew in from New York uh, via Venice, which was like a kind of strange way to go to Berlin. But uh, I had to go back to New York to give a lesson to start my school year. Uh, at the university, so um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. How was Venice? Venice was was nice. I mean, I was there a lot longer than I was expecting to be, but you know, like I I knew I was going to be there, so I wanted to see some other things that were around, like the the Art Biennale and things like that. But of course, when you're there, there's just, I mean, it takes you, you know, half a day to get from one place to another. So I pretty much didn't do very much except uh, to check the screening, the first, you know, screening of the film that I shot in Thailand. And, um, and having, hmm? Uh, well, I mean, I made a feature film. Actually, can I have my tea? <laughs> I made a, thank you. Well, I don't know if it's feature film or feature documentary, but it's a, it's a two and a half hour film about uh, an old retired farmer who lives in the northern provincial ta uh, province of uh, Chiang Mai, northern Thailand. And um, it's been like two and a half years in the making, in the process. And um, it was um, screened by the, you know, the, the director of the festival, the Venice Film Festival. And then he was pretty much, uh, he pretty much was, you know, he liked the film. So he asked if he could have it premiered in Venice, which was a little, I mean, it was kind of unexpected because we weren't quite finished with the film. We were at the last edits. So then we had to try to, you know, technically finish the film, which, which, which was fortunate because in a way it gave us like a couple months to do it. Well, I'm, um, I mean, in the next, I mean, I'm at a point where I'm trying to slow down again because the last year was seemed to be very, very busy. Um, partly because I kind of, you know, took a big break. Um, so now I'm trying to like get everything back into a kind of level, equal space. So you know, I'm 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 working on a parade with Arto out in LA in the end of uh, September beginning of October and that's like my big thing I mean that's you know something we've been working on for a while and that that's it you know be besides showing the film maybe the film will go to another festival but I'm, I'm not even you know I mean it's now kind of like let it go um, so I'm working on this parade with Arto out in LA and that's gonna be a very fairly I think it's gonna be a fairly big event uh, which is nice because it comes and it goes, you know, in one day it appears and manifests, you know, and it is, you know, it is like a manifestation, you know, you know, everyone comes together, do this thing and then disperse, you know, and I think that's, that's like the other kind of time and space, you know, um, which is like, <coughs> 
something that you you have to be there or you have to happen to be there and then it you you get the experience and then it goes away and then then it becomes a story you know and i think that's that's a nice way of making without making in a way or making without leaving things you know and then um you know there's always the lapse of kind of you know galleries wanting to have shows and so i'm going to think about that um i already start to think like already you know like another film in a way but maybe even a slower film in terms of time how making it slower slower in terms of make how long to make it you know like to i mean in terms of like the process of making it so instead of 2 years i want to maybe shoot for 5 years or something you know um i've i've you know when we did the first vicinato film with philip and i and carsten i was always interested in the idea of keeping the same actors through the other vicinato films and and to keep shooting it like in 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 time and of course the idea for me was like you know it's the same film it's a, it's almost the same moment but somehow you see them grow old in front of the camera like <laughs> you know it's 5 minutes later but they've become 3 years older or so they change and then you know it's 10 minutes later but they've become 30 years older you know than when it started so so in a way like compressing time but you know but expanded you know <coughs> hmm? well i you know whatever it's kind of uh, that's that's uh, you know that's that's something again you know those are like the kinds of thoughts that one has for a long time and then you know it just happens the next day you know um but you know it's not like having to make a show in a gallery you know because there's no like there's no frame there's no uh you know there's no walls around it you can you know i could or i could shoot 3 minutes and that's become the film you know realize you know but and then again you know we are all uh, mortal yes you know? <laughs> well, I mean, uh I feel that I have uh I should be able to have more time as I get older, you know. And uh I'm not sure if I got to that point yet, but I would like to have more time. I think it's time to move shoot